that lovely sweet lady with um giant pigtails look at you not letting all those centuries of being wherever you were keep you from enjoying your life can i ask you a question do you ever feel like a total fraud like if anyone found out how little you knew they would laugh so hard they could hear it in bahari um nah, i'm happy being me huh i wish i was more like you I can't help but think of how smug all the other pr apprentices will be if I fail here. They always said I only got into the academy because of who my dad is. I've been thinking lately they might be right. Ooh, archaeological advisor. I'll have something exciting for you next time. Okay, let's see if we have mail. Gina! Zo. So. Hey! So I really, really appreciate all that work you did trying to help me find a new thesis, but I just will. My heart's not really in any of them. The more I think about it, the more it seems really unfair of the Academy to deny the original one. Anyways, could you stop by the ruins for a chat? I don't want to give up, give this up yet. Alright, we'll see you soon. Also, ignore all my me other messages. They're just Tish giving me stuff because I leveled up my furniture. We're supposed to meet Gina in the ancient library. Oh, wait. Sabira's here too? Uh, let's talk to Sabira first. I understand your concerns, Gina, and I am truly sorry for this. But the orders are clear. Aww. I know, so watch her, ma'am. Really, you are just doing your job, and who am I to get in the way of someone so important? It's just, maybe if I knew... Why I'd be able to figure out a thesis they could accept. Regardless of the reason, these ruins will be closed to public access. Understanding won't change that. Wait, they're closing the ruins? Oh, so, you made it. Well, you didn't make it, actually. Sabira made it first. And then she told me that the Academy had contacted the Order about our discovery, and now, well, here we are. I take no pleasure in delivering this news, but my hands are tied. Are they closed for humans, too? Uh, hey, yeah. For me, it's just my life's work and entire academic career, but for Zo, it's personal. I mean, I don't mean to speak for you, Zo, but you've been putting so much work into this. And, um, I didn't mean to yell at you either, Sir Watcher. Sorry. It's quite all right. I can tell how passionate you both are about the subject. I am making an exception by telling you this, so I hope you'll understand the need for secrecy. There is a standing order at the Bahari Institute to deny all research related to the historical disappearance of the humans. This comes directly from the order. Now that this rune has been confirmed to contain information relating to that time period, it will be closed to the public. Wait, so they're Claiming just the existence of the knowledge is dangerous? That's that's silly. Since when have has having more information ever hurt anyone? It isn't like I'm going to end the world or anything. You may not have in, any intentions of doing that, but we cannot say the same thing about anyone who might encounter your research. What if I agreed to turn any research into the order and not publish it publicly? You would still not be authorized to study the subject. Simply put, only the Order is allowed to look into it. You haven't answered Zoe's question yet, though. Do these rules apply to humans, too? That is a complicated question. When the rules were written, humans were simply not an extinct species. What about the cultural preservation law? Um, I did not realize you studied law, Gina. Everyone should know their rights. Besides, as an archaeologist, I run into it a lot. Basically, it's a law designed to enable Galdor and Grimalkins to engage in their cultural practices and history without interference from the Order. Only registered cultural advisors are protected under those laws. Unless I am mistaken, though, with no doubt talented, while no doubt talented, does not have the correct certification. But if so was registered, Majiri archaeologists are authorized to work on relevant digs as long as a cultural advisor is present, right? That is correct, yes. 
but the Institute is unlikely to accept your thesis without order involvement. Well, you're a member of the order, Sir Watcher. I... Um, even if I were to approve of your research, the point is moot, unless Zoe earns the appropriate credentials. Mm, what do I need to do? A member of the Bahari Institute will need to sign off on your field skills. Luckily, I still count as one, even if my thesis hasn't been accepted yet. There are three areas you need to be certified in. Mapping, record keeping, and field work. Honestly, they should all be a piece of cake for you. You've been doing half the job already. If Zoe were able to become a cultural advisor, and you agreed to certain order oversight during your dig, I do not see a reason to deny the request. It is certainly unorthodox, but not unheard of, for the institute to cooperate with the inst with the for the order to cooperate with the institute. <clears throat> I have no doubts that you will rise to the challenge. So, you have already proven a more than adequate partner. Unfortunately, until an advisor is present at the site, I will have to enforce the order's closure. Oh, uh, that's okay. So, let's head to your place so I can go over the tests. Oh. Okay. You are the only person I so, unfortunately, the order has determined no one is to enter these ruins. Hopefully, we will settle things quickly. You and I both know there are larger concerns at play. Hmm. I'll meet you at your plot to go over the tests. Okay, let's head over there. To my plot. Here we go. There we go. Okay, good, good, good. Hi, Gina. Sorry I rushed us here, but I just uh, feel more comfortable at your place. There's something about the fresh mountain air and your decor that puts me at ease. It's very, um, secret garden chic. Especially since I went back to my tent, Hecla would find out and she'd try to fight Sabira. Anyways, that went well, right? Oh my dragon, I nearly fainted from fright after I accidentally raised my voice to Sabira. I don't think Sabira's upset at me, right? Was I being rude? She would have told you if she were. Really? I suppose you know Sabira better than I do. Honestly, I've only talked to her, what, like once before this? Anyway, if you're going to get certified as a cultural advisor, we'd better get to work. Like I mentioned before, you need to prove you know your way around a site. First, we'll test your mapping ability. Hmm. Oh, I know. Why don't you map the Temple of the Waves? It's best to just start with the structures and add in artifacts later, so focus on the rooms and their layout first. You'll probably need to walk around a bit to get good angles of all the spots. Make sure you capture accurate measurements of the area. One time I swapped meters with centimeters, and that was an awkward conversation. Oh, okay. How does one map a temple? Mm, I guess I'll have to figure it out. Hmm... Let's take our time. So this is one room. Okay. Uh. Huh. What is this? Map area. Oh, map fragment. You carefully observe the area around you, noting measurements and relevant structures, and transcribe them one by one onto a spare piece of paper. Oh. So I guess we just go to all the sparkly spots. Sparkly spot. There's gotta be one here somewhere. Hmm. Not here? If not here, where? Oops. I stuck. Uh, yes. Those must be the cotton things that we're supposed to receive. Mm. Map area. Again, you carefully observe the area around you, noting measurements and relevant structures, and transcribe them one by one onto a spare piece of paper. Okay. We are here, maybe down below. It says here. Ah. In spite. And then there's one up above. 
It looks like it's up there. I'm going to take the geyser. Oh. Where's the sparkle spot? Oh, it's right here. Nice. Okay, talk to Gina in Temple of the Waves. All right. Let's hop over. She should be in the main hall. The front hall. Okay. Oh, are you already done? I was just stopping by to see how things were going, but you've already got it all handled. Next, we'll want to test your record keeping. Whenever an archaeologist archaeologist finds an artifact at a site they need to be really careful to record exactly where and how they found it context is the most important thing to know about any relic otherwise you can make some pretty wild assumptions about what artifacts were for anyways i haven't cataloged or picked up all of the relics in the site yet i've marked a spot with some relics on your map to observe why don't you go check them out and come back to tell me what you found Make sure you record carefully everything you find in the marked area. I'm going to ask you some questions about the context. Okay. Um, it looks like it's across the way again. Hmm. Drop. Um. Oh. Inspect. After searching in the rubble, you find what appears to be writing implements. Ooh. What about here? You see, can see? You can see scratched into stone a phrase in ancient human that translates to School of Galdoric's Drools, School of Hydroflow Rules. Oh, that sounds like a school thing. Wait, 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 hold on. You found what appears to be some kind of desk. Perhaps further investigation is in order? Ooh, Hydroflow 101 pop quiz. Name, I forgot. See me after class. What state of matter does Hydroflow take in nature? Wet. Okay, question number two. What are the five properties of natural Hydroflow? Blue, sometimes. It's like freaky water. Wet. Tastes like lime. lemon lime? Bad for you, probably. Stop trying to drink the hydroflow. I've asked you this like five times. What are the four known flow variants? Green, spicy, zesty, and rock flow. Julius, one of the answers is literally on the title of this test. Who first discovered and named hydroflow? Walter M. Hydroflow. Who? When hydroflow meets pyroflow, what reactions occur? Oh man, check out that crazy flow explosion. I was not asking for your reaction, but I guess it's an explosion? Interesting. I think that's all. So there's writing implements. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Writing implements, a desk, and a quiz. Where someone failed really badly. Horribly, as a matter of fact. I hope that's not you guys in school. Or if it was, I hope you're doing better now. Just a little bit more brain. Everything has names. We can do this together. Forever. I mean, what? Sorry, found anything to report? I found a desk. Well, how can you be sure? Did you find anything to support your desk theory? I found writing utensils. Oh, that's so interesting. Though, unless they still have ink, we can't be sure that's what they are. Still, it's some good evidence for your desk theory. I found a failed pop quiz. Oh, I mean, I've never failed a test myself, but I can imagine how that student felt. And tests are usually done on desks, unless you want to be really uncomfortable. I think I found everything. Let me think about what you've told me so far. I found a desk. Uh-huh. Um, I found some graffiti. Ah, the school of Kaldurix drools? Well, that's just rude. But it's nice to know that even ancient human students defaced public pop public property, just like some of my classmates did. 
I think I found everything. Let me think about what you've told me so far. So it's definitely a desk, right? I mean, we can't ever really know that, but you found a lot of evidence to support that theory, which means you passed this test, and we're only one step away from being official archaeology partners. I'm so excited to have someone who finds this stuff as as interesting as I do. I mean, sometimes it feels like Hecla is just sort of humoring me when I ramble. But you, I feel like we're on the same page, you know? Okay, just one more go. This test is all about field work, you know, discovering runes, unlocking ancient doors, solving revels, riddles, kind of the thing you've already done, multiple times even. We're only in this place because you unlocked it. In fact, I'd be pretty comfortable just signing you off on that one already, which means I'd better go write my official letter of recommendation that you be made a cultural advisor. Keep an eye on your mail for their response and let me know what they say. Okay, let's head home and hope that the mail arrives at 6 a.m., which is in four more hours in game. Well, that's like a couple of minutes. It is 6 p.m. and mail has arrived. Baruka Ukweli, Dierzo. It is with great pleasure that the Bahari Institute accepts you into the ranks of our cultural advisors. As the first human advisor, you will no doubt be in great demand on digs across the country. On a per more personal note, I would like to thank you for supporting Gina and her work. Being her academic advisor was a favor I owed her father, and I have always expected great things from her. I hope that the next time I write to her will be an for an official thesis approval. I imagine that is why you pursued this in the first place. I wish you both the best of luck, and I look forward to what you will discover. Ooh, there's no face yet, but exciting. Exciting. Maybe there'll be a face in the future. Maybe you see a face. How convenient that Gina's already at the library. Oh, uh, hey, how's it going? I heard back from the Institute. Really? And what did they say? I got it. Yes. I mean, I knew you would. You passed all the tests and you've already done so much good work already, but I'd better go let Spira know. She'll have to open the library back up now. I mean, I guess she won't have to, but she said she would. She seems like a woman of her word. Oh, before I go, uh, um, I just want to thank you for everything you've done. I know it's not that big or cool or fancy, but... Here, it's my lucky quill. I wrote your recommendation with it and my thesis. Whatever happens with the Institute and all this red tape in the future, I think you've earned it. Thank you. Really. And truly. I got our favorite quill! And more renown, of course. Mail. Gina, you're so... You won't believe this, but not only did Sabira open the ruins back up, she agreed to sponsor our excavation. She even wrote to the Institute and the Order on our behalf. They're going to accept my original thesis. There's still a lot of protocol we'll have to follow and she'll need to oversee everything, but honestly, I thought I was going to have to throw all of it into the trash. I couldn't have all done all of this without you. I know I've said it before, but I'll just have to say it again. Thank you. And another one? Wait. Wait, what? Dear Zoe, have you talked to Hecla lately? She's been acting really weird with me. Yesterday, when I asked her to hand me a shovel, she told me I should ask my new research partner to hand it to me instead. I'm not sure if she's said anything to you, but I think she might be a little bit jealous. Maybe you can ask her what's going on, because she's not telling me. You've gotten so close to her lately that I'm, she might be willing to open up to you. Hmm. You have returned safely. Hello, Gina's new best friend and favorite research assistant. Is there something I may help you with? Huh. I need you to stop being weird. I understand being weird is perhaps why my Gina has replaced me with you. I suppose I cannot blame her for her actions. My replacement became very evident when I found out that Gina entrusted you with her beloved writing utensil. She has had that quill for as long as I have been watching over her. Clearly, you hold social value in her heart. As you are an official cultural advisor, you will also be more capable of assisting her in her work. I only ask that once she has deactivated me and placed me in storage that you ensure she is properly nourished. 
my Gina often forgets to consume adequate nutrition. She is most particular to edible fung. What, wait, what, what, wait, what do you mean by I deactivate you? When I was no longer of use to my first family, they naturally retired me to storage. I expect that Gina realizes you are objectively the better choice. She will do the same. You're making a lot of assumptions, Hecla. It is correct that assumptions are the basis of my interpersonal understanding misunderstandings. I have often thought, taught Gina that misunderstanding should be rectified. Even if one believes none has taken place, it does not harm to check regardless. I believe my Gina is currently excavating within the university library. I will go speak to her. As the subject of our conversation, I encourage you to join me. Okay. So, Hecla said to talk to her in here. Ah. So, you're here, and you brought Hecla. Are you finally ready to tell me what I did wrong? I've been tearing my hair out over it. I thought everything was going okay. You did not make any mistakes. It is only natural that you would gravitate more towards a more capable archaeologist like Zoe eventually. As a caretaker, this should be a very joyous time. You have outgrown what I can offer you. Hmm. Offer me? Hecla, what are you talking about? Um, Hecla thinks you're gonna deactivate her. What? What? Why in the world would I do something like that? Where is all of this coming from? You have replaced me as your assistant with a more capable partner in Zoe. As I can no longer provide you with value, it would only be natural to rid yourself of me. What the heck, Hecla? You're my friend. I'd never just turn you off. I don't think I even know how to... There is a hatch located in, on the back... On my back chassis. I don't want to know, because I'm never going to use it. Look, friendship isn't about how useful you are to each other. It's about... About... Mm, looking out for each other. Exactly. Hecla, you literally do that all the time. Not just my physical well-being either, but my mental... You've always encouraged me to grow and get out of my comfort zone, and as much as I struggle, I know it's good for me. I mean, you're the re the reason Zoe and I got close in the first place. I would never had the courage if you weren't there backing me up every step of the way. I do not understand. Can Zoe not serve all these functions for you now? I wouldn't want to. And I wouldn't want you to. Nobody can be everything for someone. Maybe I've been unfair to you, Hecla. For a really long time, I guess you were my only friend, and I got used to that. And I started to put a lot of pressure on you to be my everything. When you started telling Zoe things that you wouldn't even tell me, I got jealous too. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized I was just grateful you had someone to talk to. You know, as long as you tell me eventually, like you did this time. I see. Zoe and I have become friends, but I still want to spend time with my Gina as well. I have not wanted to replace you with Zoe or Zoe with you. I have two friends! Exactly, and that's okay. Three even if you count Enar. I know you talk to him on your Galdor network, right? That is correct. I have learned much about the aquatic inhabitants of Kilima. That's great! I don't know anything about fish, so I couldn't do that for you, even if I could talk to you with my mind. So, friends can offer different things. Having more of them does not mean every interaction is interchangeable across friendships. I am so proud of you, my Gina. You have grown so much, and now you and Zoa are educating me. Hey, I taught you how to play Chezu, too, to remember? Anyways, nothing would make me happier than having both of you join me on my digs. So what do you say? Two's company, three's a party. Well, technically it will be four. Subira still has to oversee our activities. I would enjoy engaging in archaeological activities with my two friends, Gina and Zo. Perhaps, perhaps Sir Watcher can become a third acquaintance and then friend. She's a good person to have on your side. True, she was really helpful with the whole thesis situation too. And there's so much I want to ask her. Still, I wouldn't want to impose. Anyway, why don't we get back? Why don't we meet back here in a little bit for our first dig as a real team? Oh, I can't wait to see what we'll find.
Oh, I love that cutscene. It was so cute. My tail is going absolutely crazy throughout the entire time. Okay. I guess that must have been Hecla's level 4 relationship quest. I can't tell. Um, let's see. No, that was the quest. So I guess the green-eyed Galdor was just an extension of Gina's level 4? I don't know. It's a complex story here. Thank you so much. Tune in for all of the conversations and gifting that I had to do to get Gina to level 5. And I'll see you guys next time. Please like and subscribe if you got to hear. Please leave me a comment down below saying you so. Uh, your encouragement really goes a long way. Till next time. Toodaloos. You're out of this world. Glad you stopped by. I was wondering how you were doing. I heard you got a house. Congratulations. I've been living here a year and I'm still in a tent. Oh. You wanted cream of mushroom soup. Just what I was looking for. I knew you'd pull through. Of course, Gina. We'll see each other again soon. You're the best research partner. Can I help you? Um, you wanted a shimmer fin. Do you know these fish only appear on Kilima Valley? I think the proximity to the ruins has something to do with their magical properties. Oh, okay. I can't help but wonder why the humans would go through all that trouble to create a magic puzzle. Maybe there's something important hidden behind fully illuminating that, illuminating that constellation mural. Something they didn't want someone or something that couldn't solve the puzzle to find. Oh, so someone with brains, I guess? I'm gonna miss you. Interesting. When left to their own devices, humans will befriend local... Uh, sorry, I have a bad habit of talking to myself. I still feel super silly for ga getting carried away with those masks. I mean, why would I just assume they were for some kind of super important religious ritual? Honestly, I'm surprised at your emotional response. Well, it's a mistake I won't make again. I have to make sure I always keep emotions out of things. Just because something's exciting, that doesn't mean it's true. I love spending time with you. You radiate the shortest wavelengths I've ever seen. Hey there, it's good to see you. Mm. Hey, look, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but sometimes your energy comes off a little overwhelming. And I get that you're just excited to be here, and that's great, but sometimes I need some time to myself to just calm down, you know? I'm gonna miss you. Okay, I miss you too. The world feels infinite with you in it. Uh, uh hey, how's it going? <laughs> I'm glad Hecla finally found peace for Sona. Although, to be honest, I'm a little overwhelmed by her one... Her whole archaeology is my new one thing. Yesterday, she bagged and tagged my toothbrush? Who was she gonna send it to? I hope not the Institute. It oh, Lord. Me. Hey, Gina. You radiate the shortest wavelengths I've ever seen. I'm sorry if I'm staring at you. It's just part of my research process. I can't help but wonder why the humans would go through all that trouble to create a magic puzzle. Maybe there's something important hidden behind fully eliminating that constellation mural. Something they didn't want someone or something that couldn't solve a puzzle to find. I love spending time with you. Hmm, interesting. Oh, my heart's beating faster than a new discovery. Look at you not letting all these centuries of being wherever you were kept keep you from enjoying your new life. Thank you so much for opening up the chamber behind the waterfall. I can figure out what its purpose was in hu- If I can figure out what was its purpose was in human society, it could be big. Like maybe we'll finally understand human religion or why they disappeared. Or maybe I could even get published. I'll keep Exciting. You radiate the shortest wavelengths I've ever seen. What is it? So I wanted to get your thoughts on something. At the wedding, I talked to Arfu about how he used to tease me. He said the only reason you used to act like that was because he was jealous of me because I'm so smart and I was close to Ebby. I acted nice to him and all, but I still don't know if he's being genuine. What do you think? Mm, why don't you give it some time? Actions do speak louder than words. If he stops treating people badly, then I'll know he really changed. I'm glad. I'll have something exciting for you Must next be 
Must be the one who teased her a lot. You're out of this world. Well, I'm sorry if I'm staring at you. It's yes. just part of my research process. I'm always afraid to reveal my emotions to others, but not to you. Huh? There's always something. There's something about you that, that makes me think you understand just what I'm going through. Aw, Gina. I'm gonna miss you. Miss you too. I was just about to come see you. Can you believe I'm the only scholar doing her thesis on human reemergence? Um, no, but the one to the break room. I'd be curious to try a break room. They say ingesting flow can have sometimes some interesting side effects. But I'm willing to give it a shot. <laughs> Do you know you can fish in the water temple? It's true. Hecla showed me. I wonder if some of them have survived since ancient times. Interesting. I have something exciting for you next time. You're back. What is it? So I was looking around the ancient library today and I found some evidence of this... This is going to sound crazy, but possibly like some sort of ancient human death cult? Like it was a flyer or something and Heckland said it was asking all those who believe that the undying should die to convene at the quad for more information. Although, you know, I don't want to get ahead of myself for all I know. The undying was the name of like a rival round ball team or something? Possibly? I love spending time with you. You radiate the shortest wavelengths I've ever seen. I was so lost in my research, I almost didn't see you there. I find it's nice to do things together, even if we just sit next to each other in silence. Thanks for being such a good friend, though. I still can't believe you actually... Hey, Gina. The best research partner. Oh, uh, hey, how's it going? You wanted some cream and mushroom soup. Oh, you got something for me? Thank you. As a scholar, I have to be hard on myself. Not many, very many Pallians, whether they are Majuri or Grimal, can have the opportunity or responsibility of exploring these ruins. If I don't add to our understanding with my research, I'm effectively taking away knowledge the world could have gotten from a more capable scholar. We'll see each other again soon. Fascinating. Oh, sorry. Just making some quick observations. Can I help you? Um, I think you wanted one of these. So this doesn't have any particular archaeological significance, but it looks cool. Maybe I can use it to decorate the tent. Cool. So far, I've cataloged over a hundred books from the old library. Unfortunately, only a few are in good enough condition to be translated. Oh, sad. Yes. Gina! Yes. Um, I can't believe you haven't been to the old library yet. What are you waiting for? I'm giving you first dibs out of respect, but you, if you don't go in there soon, I won't be able to resist the urge. I kind of was in there. Can you believe I'm the only scholar doing her thesis on the human reemergence? You're the first non-heckler friend I've had in a while. I keep expecting you to realize I'm weird and leave, and then it doesn't happen, which is totally a relief. Says you distract me. Oh, uh, hey, how's it going? You wanted a celebration cake? Heckler will kill me for having dessert for dinner. I guess I better have an actual dinner tonight so I can eat this afterwards. I've been scanning all the books in the old library trying to discover something new about the way ancient humans thought. I might be onto something with one I found on the ethics of Galdorix. Interesting. Hey, Gina. Can I help you? I have to admit, I'm a little self-conscious about you seeing me this early in the morning. I haven't even had my sweet leaf tea yet. Oh. Like me. I mean, you're out and about. Oh. I'm sorry if I'm staring at you. It's just part of my research process. Wait, the background looks weird. Oh. My days are spent studying the ruins and my nights are spent pondering and reading about the ruins. I don't really know much about non-ruin related fun. One time I played cards with Anar and Hecla. Their definition of playing cards is a bit different from ours, though. A single ga game can take anywhere from four days to six months. Oh my goodness. Be the same without you. You're back. I'm so sorry if I'm staring at you. It's just part of my research process. Um, you wanted a dragon's beard, Pete. 
think sometimes cooking over the campfire can be a little bland. It'll be nice to spice it up. The pursuit of knowledge always keeps me wide awake, so I barely need any sleep. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm getting a little tired. It won't be the same without you. You're out of this world. Huh? Well, not literally. Uh, hey, how's it going? I've been doing a bit of a thought experiment lately, and I wanted your opinion. If I lived here back in ancient human times and went to this university, what do you think I would study? Mm, archaeology. <laughs> so I suppose not much will have changed. Although I do wonder what sort of stuff would have seemed ancient to the humans. Thanks, so. You've given me something new to wonder about. <laughs> 